The Vux gathering is the oldest and most massive cultural event in Serbia, and it is dedicated to the preservation of the memory of life and work of Vuk Stefanovic Karadzic, the reformer of the Serbian language and the great of the national culture. The central program of the gathering is held annually, every September, in Vuk's birthplace, which is the village of Tršić near Loznica. Part of the program is also realized in Loznica and Belgrade. Thematically, the program of the gathering includes topical exhibitions, concerts, literary and film evenings. The central celebration is held at a communal spot, an open amphitheater in Tršić, and traditionally it begins with the performance of the Anthem for Vuk, composed by Stevan Stojanovic Mokranjac, and raising the flag of the gathering. It is followed by the address from the mayor of Loznica and a speech by one of the distinguished writers, artists or scientists. Finally, there is a performance of a musical play and a review of folk dance ensembles. The first Vuk's gathering was held on the day of opening his renovated house, the 17th of September 1933. At the beginning, the event carried mostly the homeland character. In front of Vuk's house, the memorial service was held for the local personalities of significance, as well as the lectures about Vuk Karadzic, Guzlo playing contests and presenting free books. The first gathering was attended by then Minister of Education, Minister of Finance, King's Emissary, Professor of the Belgrade University, President of the Academy of Sciences and Arts as well as Matisa Srpska and also other renowned scholars. The news reports from the previous gatherings had a number of visitors spanning from 3 to 5,000. Over time, the program has been enriched by educational, cultural, artistic and scientific features with the increase in the number of visitors. The centennial of Vuk Karadzic's death, marked in 1964, also meant the turning point in the contents and organization of the gathering. Instead of a local event, it received the prominence on the Republican level. A big stage with the National Amphitheater was erected between the new school and Vuk's house, and several other smaller facilities were added later. The stage hosts the theatrical, opera and ballet performances from all over the country. In fall of 1964, the Belgrade Faculty of Philology organized the International Slavic Symposium with participation of more than 80 scientists. The International Slavic Congress was first held in 1957, and since the establishing of the International Slavic Center in Belgrade in 1971, the annual conference of experts on the Serbian language and literature are being held during the days of the Vuk's gathering, with locations in Belgrade, Novi Sad and Tršić. In 1970, the pre-gathering days were organized too, held in Loznica, Tršić and the Monastery of Tronoš. That week offers diverse programs, scientific discussions, theatre and film events, concerts, exhibitions, etc. That way the Vuk's gathering has become the gathering place for writers, painters and music authors, along with scholars. Besides bringing together the visitors during the gathering, Tršić is also noted for its natural beauties. I was born and raised in Serbia, so it seems to me there is no prettier land than Serbia, nor nicer place than Tršić, it was written by Vuk Stefanovic Karašić.